What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Hermetocraft Mod Socio. Yes, that's it, I'm trying to make it sound a little bit more magic-y because I am playing with magic. Oh, I've been having a great time. I've been using the uh, Sojourner's Sash and the boots to just fly across the world. As you can see here, I found a desert finally. And uh, I found more magical forests, just sort of been going out and having a look around, seeing what I can find. <clears throat> um, I'm not using the Sojourner's Sash as my basic anymore. I'm using just the boots, and I use the Sojourners when I want to go on a big long trip. Uh, just for an extra bit of speed. But for now, I'm wearing the Tectonic Girdle as my basic, uh, as my uh, belt. <clears throat> and I'm liking it. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to not be affected by knockback again. Keep getting flashbacks of Terraria. It's just like, ha ha, screw you, I'm not moving. And it's great. Um, <clears throat> but yes, today I wanted to play around with golems. And just, you know, just sort of uh, dirtle around. This might not end up being the best episode. I want to just play around and see about getting this stuff working. Get a golem to refill this and empty those back there. And just, I just want to play around because I haven't used golems in so long. So, <clears throat> let's see, what do I, uh, I unlocked golems. Ooh, the traveling trunk is back. No way. The traveling trunk is so cool. Oh man, you used to be able to make him attack stuff. So, first off, um, what do I want my golems to do? Harvest, guard, fill. I'm going to want to fill a golem. Uh, empty. Ooh, decant. I think decant is what I want. So I'm going to need some more of that. And that leads to alchemy. Da -da -da -da. Alchemy golems assigned to a furnace or alembic will draw a sentia from an entire stack of alembics and transport it to the warded jars. <coughs> it is not required to make to mark every single jar. Which, oh, interesting. So that's actually what we need, the alchemy. So what's decanting? Uh, they will do, 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 they will keep the liquid inventory that they are attached to filled with an appropriate liquid. If you wish, you can specify the liquid in places in tank. They can only carry 100 ml buckets of liquid per item. Okay, yeah. Uh, they will always carry a full bucket's worth if instructed to pick up liquid blocks in the world. So I'm guessing that's what we use to keep... <coughs> that. So the, the fill golem keeps items and stuff. Right, so the decanting is what we're going to use to keep the crucible full. And the alchemy is what we're going to use for uh, emptying this over here. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a scratchy throat. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, that might be a bit expensive, so maybe one of them will be enough. And we just tell it to, you know, go to a jar, and it should access every jar in the line. So, uh, let's see what we actually have to do. So we need to make a golem animation core. <coughs> and then for fill, do we want fill? No, we want water and void to make a decanting one. So the golem animation core should be pretty simple, because that hasn't changed, does it? <coughs> golem animation core... Oh, it does have to be done in a table though, so just bricks and night ore. Do I have any night ore? I do not! Uh, just real quick, how do we make night ore? It is... Three pieces of coal, six torches, two glowstone. Three coal, six torches, two glowstone. So three coal, uh, to pour. Coal, six torches, and <clears throat> two glow. Yeah, just throw all the glowstone straight on the floor. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. One, two, three. 
There we go. So we chucked that in last. Coal and torches. Doo -doo -doo, and then that. So that should give us everything we need. So let's uh, split them in half and chuck them in. That might be enough. Do that. Do that. Do that. Wow, that is loud. I don't know if that's loud for you guys. That only got me 10 night ore. I feel like there should have been an awful lot more to come out of that. Uh, no, there should have only been 12 overall, but then I probably fucked something up. So, yeah, who cares really? <clears throat> as long as it builds, that's all that really matters. And then we're going to need some bricks. Not bricks, we're going to need bricks. Uh, uh, do, that's that, and then we just need a wand. So let's just take one of these and we'll put you away. So there we have a couple of animation cores. In fact, is there a way of uncrafting these? There's got to be, right? No, that's just standard crafting recipes. We can lacerate, <coughs> uh, rock crusher. Oh, cool. You, you can make clay golems out of bricks. Okay. Really, there's no way of getting them back apart from the lacerator? Like, you can't alchemize them? No? 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 Okay, so you can't alchemize them. I was honestly expecting to be able to alchemize them. Um, I'll just take a stack of this. Uh, oh, it's night time. Yeah, I should probably go to sleep at some point. <clears throat> so I stuck a, uh, a second magnum torch just in my house. Just so that I wouldn't have to deal with walking outside and swimming through a sea of wither witches. Because god damn it guys, I hate wither witches. Like, at first I was kind of reluctant to turn them off. But I think I'm just going to turn them off now. Because I'm sick of the fuckers. 4.75. In fact, if we... that it goes down to 4.5 and I found an item actually uh, yeah a ring of ordo which apparently is a ball yeah and it makes the ordo cost even less which is cool <coughs> uh, anything to save some a little bit extra seeing as I don't actually have any um, recharging station to speak of yet it's kind of a useful thing to be able to keep as much as possible. But yeah, I was just testing that out to see if it actually works, and it does. So, we have the Golem animation cores. <clears throat> God damn it, I may not end up finishing this video right now in this current session for me because my throat is killing me and I don't want to be coughing throughout the video. That's a horrible, horrible thing to be hearing constantly, and I know how much it drives people nuts because it does the same for me. We need five water and five vacuous to make that. And we're going to want at least two of them. So ten water and ten vac. So where can we get some water from? We Wow, I've actually got quite a few things that have water in them. Uh, Sugarcane has one water. Not good enough. Um, water shards. Yeah, five water shards will do. Uh, that is why I have this. Five water shards, and the other thing was vacuous. <clears throat> Vac. Uh, what can we get that from? Uh, buckets, chests. Chests have four vac and six wood. That is really bad. Um. Um. Yeah, it's probably just going to have to be chests. Although I only need three of them. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I took my armor off, didn't I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I, you saw how slow I was moving then. That was horrible. So, um, these can go away. What am I making again? Yeah, that. And I need that and that. And I also need... some water in the cauldron for it to actually work. Now I'm not sure what the cauldron's maximum amount is before it starts going overboard. So 
<clears throat> I might not have enough room in there because these do have ten aspects each. And I only want to drop two of these in, so... Oh, everything worked out fine. Awesome. And uh, where's my wand? I always need a wand on me, even if it is only an iron-capped wooden wand. Goodbye. And we will just fill that up. So, now we need to make a golem of some sort. Um, I don't really think I need an amazing golem just for water transportation, like two blocks. So, straw golem. Um, whilst the iron golem is impressive in its own right, it's very limited and uncontrollable. You have managed to solve both of these problems. Your golem workers... Oh yeah, this is just that, right. So, durability very low, strength very low, self-repair average, carry limit 1, speed fast, upgrade 1. That does not sound like a problem. For Humanus, for Motus, for Spiritus. That is interesting. I'm not really sure where I'm going to get Humanus from. Literally the only thing I know that has it is Zombie Flesh. And I need four of it. And that also has Corpus on it, which I don't need. Uh, four Motus and four Spiritus. Well, Spiritus is easy enough. I can get that from a head. Yeah, and then I just need Motus. Um, am I right in thinking Motus Botus is no longer a thing? Motus Botus used to be where I got it from. Um, no, okay, so I only need four, so I could just chuck a piston in there. That is such a waste, but I'm going to do it because I'm lazy. And then I need my wheat, and I need to make a hay bale. <coughs> So, I chuck that, 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 and then that, and I have my straw golem. Also, I wish Whaler would start remembering my damn options. Modules, Thorncraft, um, Jar Experience, I forgot about that. Show Aspects, no. Mirror Dimension, no. Mirror Link, no. Actually, yes. Don't show Pedestal. There we go. Now it shouldn't show me all the various aspects when there are various aspects in there. So, Straw Golem is the guy we've got, and if we place him down and give him our decanting core. Yay! Hello, little guy! Shall I gather all liquids or just those you specify? Oh, definitely just those I specify. Give me one second, mate. Give me one second. I need to grab some doit. That is not what I meant to do. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, are you okay there? Oh, for... How about you take the bucket of water out of your hand before you go clicking around on everything, yeah? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Thanks. Uh, dirt. Do. So we're just going to give you a little infinite water source right there. Um, just beef it up in case any endermen come along and start fucking with it. Doo -doo -doo. I forgot how far I jumped. And we need to make a Golem Answers Bell. Golem answers bell, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So I need a stick and four quartz. By the way, this, um, whatever the thing I've got, I think it's the, uh, the Thorncraft NEI recipe integration. It's, it's got a, some extremely statistical sounding name like that. I think, whatever, if that is what it is. I fucking love that mod. I love being able to just search it in uh, just search it normally and just be like, oh yeah, that's exactly how that's made. So, the Golem Answers Bell, I believe we shift right click, no, nope, shift left click to break him, and then we place him down, and then we give him his core, and then I click these, select the Golem, tell him what he's filling, and where he's filling from. And then if I get rid of that. Also 
telling the golem that he's only supposed to keep it filled with water. And don't look at me. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Go on. No, can you not feel the side? Come here. What about if we do this? And then just... Just get rid of this infinite water source. The hell was that noise? Right. We place you down, give you your core, tell you to keep water stocked. Actually, there might be something I'm missing about how to use the Golem Answers Bell because I don't really think I've ever used it before. So, um, let's take a look. Left clicking on a golem picks it up with all its current in. Uh, shift left clicking picks it up and breaks it. <laughs> right click on a golem to select it. Once it's done, um, a glowing circle will appear indicating the golem's home location and the side it's attached to. Oh, yeah! I remember. You place it where you want it to activate. Like that, right? Right? Do something! God damn you. There's no water in there. Okay, I clearly don't understand how golems work now. Um, link the golem. I heard a movement. Yes! Okay, so this golem is just incredibly slow to work. Maybe it has a bit of a starting off period. So let's see. What would be speed? Probably air? Um, check the additional pages added to the Thormanormicon in that entry. Okay, so not fill. We are playing around with decant. So, you have a bucket full of water there. If I do this, you will fill it back up. It doesn't look like it's got an entire bucket of water in it. It does, fair enough. Okay, so you're working perfectly fine right there. So, no offence, but uh, you're, you're going to end up getting a little box in there, son, just because you uh, might end up being in the way. So let's see, what happens if I move him? He went back to his rightful place, good. I'm glad that golems actually kind of know what they're doing now. So, um, now what am I going to use for my next golem? Because I want a golem which is like incredibly fast and everything. Flesh golem. Let's see, let's get this. We need more motus and more change. Motus. Change. Oh, hang on, there's another one. What's this? Iron golems. Okay, so stone golems. They have. The carry limit is 16, their speed is slow. Clay golems, speed average. Tallow golems, speed average. What the hell is that? Go what the hell is that? Where's Vinculum? The golem fetter. It allows a golem answer to bring their golems to a halt. If this block is activated, with a redstone signal, any golem that passes over it will come to a complete standstill and cease its work. Okay. That's cool. I was wondering what the hell it was because it just looked weird as fuck. So what about wooden golems? Speed above average. Um, tallow have average. Clay have average. Straw speed. Straw's the only one that's fast but only has a carry limit of one and an upgrade of one. So what I'm thinking is... Uh, upgrade one, upgrade one, upgrade two. Maybe even an iron golem might work here. Um, where is Spiratus? There it is. And what was the other thing I needed? More motors. Damn, son. 
Um, this guy, speed very slow, upgrade one. Formium Golem, that's got to be where all the all the most powerful stuff is, right? And we need ten spirit and some change. Get that. There we go. Let's take a look at that. Carry limit 32. Upgrade 2. Speed slow. So what I'm thinking, probably Tallow Golems will be best for this. With a speed of 8 and an Two and two upgrades, I could put two things on them. So that takes eight Humanus Motors and Spiritus, and then a Tallow Block. I don't actually have any Tallow. Um, I don't think I've ever made any Tallow in this yet. It takes two Magic and some Zombie Flash. Okay. So what if I got hold of some Vials? Not Vials. Um, files. Yes. I knew they had a stupid name. File with a PH. It's probably just trying to sound all magic y. Actually, while I'm here, let me just. Uh, 24, 32. And I want two of these for myself. So each piece of tallow takes two magic. I have 16 magic. That's enough to make eight. So I might as well go further out on this which is now 16, so flash, do that, that gets me some tallow, and there's the rest of my tallow, lovely, so uh, actually while I'm here, scan through that, um, make a block, Yep, there we go, tallow block. Scan that. That looks disgusting, by the way. That block looks completely vile. It's got like... It looks exactly like it is. It looks like rendered fat. Effective tool pickaxe. Really? Okay, whatever you say, game. So, the tallow block I have... Now what do I need in there? I need to go back to Gulmansa, and I want the Tallow Golem. Eight human, eight motus, eight spirit. So the spirit comes from heads, obviously. Uh, eight of that. The humanus comes from flesh. Eight flesh for the eight humanus. And the motors, where did I get motors from? Was it pistons? It was, wasn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm actually going to do something here. What I'm going to do is lob the pistons in there to melt down. So that I can extract just what I want from them. Because fucking hell. Right, don't want the metal. Don't want the earth. I just want the motors. Seven, eight, lovely. Because, like I said, cauldrons have a um, a maximum amount of aspects that you can put in them, and I'm worried that I will not have enough active aspects, and then I just chuck the block in afterwards. So we do zombie flesh, heads, that, and then that, and we have a tallow golem. There we go. It's as simple as that. We now have a nice little tallow golem. Hello, hello, Gollum. Hello. Uh, where's my bell? Sorry. Let me just uh, come back to me. Actually. Uh -huh. Lovely. And I really should be doing this during the episode. I should have done this. Or do the, I should do this later or should have done this already. So, Mr. Gollum, we... Uh, oh, that wasn't what I wanted you to do. Come here. Right, so we have that. We now just need the new animation core, which is the alchemy, which requires water, motus, and precantatio. Do I have any motus left? No. So, to the pistons. Give me, what do they have, four each? Just give me 16 pistons to melt 
Why the fuck not? Why not? Uh, uh, magic and water. We should have a full jar of every primal and roughly a full jar of magic. So what we are going to need now is four water bottles and a water jar. Well, we have a spare water jar. So I put that... Ah, oh, I'm going to have to change the layout to get this to be stable. So yeah, the uh, the only thing you can't break on the infusion altar is one of the main pieces. <sighs> Shit, and I just broke that as well. That. I need to put that crystal back together and put it back down, otherwise I'm going to lose a lot of stability. Oh, does it matter about order anymore? It does not. Fantastic. Uh, it used to, you used to have to put every crystal in the right place. You couldn't just chuck them all in. It was like every crystal had to go in the in a specific place for it to craft. So yeah, the only thing that you can't break when um, building your altar is the middle five or six, including that. So you can you can feel free to pick up and move around your pedestals as much as you want, as long as you're not actually actively crafting anything at the time. And, uh, yeah, it's always a good idea to keep it as uh, as symmetrical as possible on every axis. Every horizontal axis, obviously. So, this really should not be a problem at all. I just want to, I just don't want to have any big Thormic freakouts. So, I have, uh, don't want that. That's what I wanted. Give me a jar. Thank you. Motus, and the rest of this stuff can just go and get fucked because I'm really not interested in it. Because it's very shortly I'll have my golems to do this for me. So I have everything I need, just a matter of clicking on this and hoping nothing goes wrong because I don't have any sparing items on me. I really should not have done this. Um, yeah, normally I'm very careful when I only craft if I have, you know, like, double the amount of materials I actually need. So if it takes 16, I'll have 32 of that. Or if it takes a water bottle, I'll have a, I'll have a spare one on me. Okay, it's taking the one on the right first. Open this one. And... There we go. It just kind of went quiet. I thought it was going to make the noise it always makes, where it's like... And there's our golem animation core, which is alchemy. So it says that it can pull from anywhere, I think it said. Uh, it can pull from anywhere in the stack. So what I actually want to do is... Um, just a quick little redesign here. I want to put it... I just want to have one alchemical furnace right there with four of them because I don't have a fifth one right now and do that and then it should just be a simple matter of let's put you down, give you your animation core. Oh, it looks like you're covering your bollocks. You want something to hold, don't you? Actually, do you, um... Let me... Let me pick you up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's bad. Must remember to empty these when you're done. Otherwise... That happens. Oh, they fill up in the rain, apparently. That's actually really cool. Right, yeah, that is the alchemy one. So I want to take you, I want to give you alchemy, and I want to see about giving you some upgrades so you can be faster or stronger or something. I don't really know what the upgrades do. So let's take a look. Ooh, 
Advanced Golem. There's new. There's advanced golems. Jesus fucking Christ, really? I probably should have remembered that. Seeing as I've spent. T oh! That's forbidden knowledge. Taboo forbidden knowledge. I may regret that. You've discovered a way of improving golems in several minor but significant ways. Uh, they move slightly faster, they have a slightly greater radius. Ah, Jesus shit. Well, I can just straight upgrade the one I've got. It takes Brain Census and Victus to upgrade him. Golems that go through this process are able to hold one additional upgrade though they can never have more than two upgrades of a single type. Well this can already hold two upgrades, so I don't even know what I'm getting here. So this is increases its movement and ranged attack speed, so it will move faster. Uh, each upgrade increases the limit by between 4 and 16 depending on the base carry limit. So this improves how much you can carry at once. Um, Increases the interface inventory. The number of slots added depends on the base number of slots. Uh, specific golem cores may benefit in different ways. Okay, we have water. I can't believe I just took that. It's fucking taboo. That must be like a quite a large amount considering everything else is like moderate or inconsequential. Taboo has to be bad, right? Taboo has to be really bad. I'm so fucking nervous about that shit. It's one of the reasons I didn't... Interesting. Uh, one of the reasons I originally didn't put this pack in straight away was because I was worried about what might happen with warp. Uh, increases the range and accuracy of ranged attacks. Uh, travel further afield to perform the tasks, so better range. Uh, greater control over what they do. Greater scope of operation. And... More control over what items they are looking for. So this... I don't actually think I need any of that. I think all I need to do is take you... And put you... Can I not put you on there? Do I have to put you on the actual furnace itself? Uh, let's see, can I put you on a furnace? Ooh. What if I give you the animation core and then pick you up? There we go. So, you should be ready to rock already, right? You should just be straight up ready to go. Um, actually no, I'm going to need to do this, aren't I? I'm going to need to do this and specify that you're allowed all the way out here and all the way out here. And we'll hit that one just to make sure that you know what you can do. So, you can't get out of here through there. No. Um, so let's try this out. Let's put that in there and melt up some pistons and see what it does. You're standing on flux. Or taint. Come here. There we go. Oh, I've got flu. So this is filling up. He is collecting, it looks like. Uh, what's he collecting? I can't tell, it's just black. I don't actually know what pistons have on them. Stun. And of course I can't check from here. Uh, they do have chaos on them, so it could be picking up chaos and just be looking for somewhere to put it. So, what if I did this? Further over, I put those there. Do something! Go on! Go on, be a good boy, look. Leave this. Wow, they update in like real time. That's quite impressive. Go and put the stuff somewhere. No? Do you, do you not want to do this? Because I have absolutely no qualms in killing you. 
Although you are adorable. So come on, do something. Go and dump your stuff out. Like, what are you waiting for? I could probably do with putting another uh, one of these on top as well. Like so. You're just not doing anything. You're not moving. Move. Do something. You have your assignment. Do it. Right. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. So we take you, attach you to there, give you the animation core. You pick that up and you've got it. Now, do something. There's your home. There's your target. Go and drop some shit off. Because it doesn't appear to be doing anything. That's the worst thing. Would you path all the way around? I'm actually fairly impressed. Oh, of course, you don't know how to get back on. Oh, you'll jump over the top. Yeah. There you go. You're back in your hole. Now, drop the essence off. Do something with all the essence. Let me just check this one more time. So, alchemy. A, a, assigned to a furnace or a limbic, it will draw Essentia from the entire stack of Olympics and transport it into marked water. Do you know what I'm thinking might actually be the problem? It might be that I only put him on one Olympic. I'm thinking if I... Yeah, work your way back up here, mate. That's it. I'm thinking if I put him on a furnace instead of on an Olympic. Three, four, five. That's it, over you come. No, I want you to lose all your programming. So maybe if I put you on there instead, give you something to sort. You on there? Are you wearing a hat? I was not aware golems could get hats. That's actually really cool. And now we tell you to go and do your job. Uh, that was not such a good place to put it. Oh, what fresh hell is this? That's terrifying. Okay, apparently that was linked as a golem target, so it decided to put up a... That's actually really cool. Do you need more space around the back to work? Is that what it is? Is that the problem? Do you need... more space to work here, like this. Do you need to be able to run around the back more? Do you not like dealing with like this? Like if I do this, will you not just jump up on top of it and do something? I literally have no idea why you're not doing anything and it's driving me insane. Like do I have to tell you that you can access Every single fucking one of these. Before you will actually do anything. Because there, look, there's an empty one. Right there. You could very easily dump that that you're holding into it. But you're not, are you? You're just standing there like a retard. Oh, god damn it. This is what I was told had been fixed. I was told the golems do what they're fucking told. It looks like I was lied to. And if there is something I'm missing, then I don't know what I'm I don't know what it is. Because it's not explained in the book. 
it is not required to mark every single jar. It will automatically fill all jars adjacent to the marked jar and all other similarly connected jars. They prioritize nearby jars and will fill them first and they will, f they will, they uh, and will try to fill an entire jar before starting on a new one. They will also favor labeled jars over unlabeled ones. If there are full void jars, they will try to fill normal jars first. Unless the void jar is labeled, in that case the void jar is uh, filled last. Um, alchemy golems can also transport Ascentia between most other Ascentia storage containers and blocks that accept Ascentia. Do something! You fucked hard! Like, is the problem that you don't like these ones being up there? Are you more than a full block? Ah, oh, see this! Ooh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's... Let's send you in for deprogramming, shall we? You have a hat on! There's your animation core. This is That's what you're working with, alright? There you go, you have something. Now place it. But like if I take you and tell you that you can you're allowed to access this jar, do it. Look, like, what's wrong? Is this jar outside of your fucking range? Are you too stupid to recognize a jar three blocks away? Oh. I will kill you and laugh. Laugh while you die. Do something! You have some crystal. There's an empty jar. Empty jar! I don't know if there's a difference between shift right clicking and just right clicking. Um, right click anywhere in the world to link your golem to that block location or inventories it may act, interact with. Clicking on the same location will unmark it or cycle through different colours if you're able to colour them. Shift right clicking on a marked location will always clear it and pressing F will clear all marked locations. Oh, that's probably been changed to whatever key I changed. Ah, what the hell is this? Oh! Okay. Interesting. That's some sort of enchantment sheet that comes up when I press I on there. Um, I have literally no clue what that means. Do something, you little. Also, this is just a waste of elementum. Right, you have it. Do something with it. Ding 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 ding. Right, got you. Look, you're marked over here. So apparently, shift right clicking will always clear it. So if you have the ability to color it, yeah. Look, there's an empty one right there. Do something, or you die. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this golem? It's an alchemy golem, so it should be able to do this, right? Unless I don't need an alchemy golem, but I do because the book says I need an alchemy golem. I have a tallow golem, um, which it doesn't actually have any information on. Marginally better than clay, capable of holding two upgrades. I have the alchemy core, specifically designed to transport Ascentia, if only it would fucking put the Ascentia down. Like, there's no golem marker blocks anymore, you mark them with the bell. So do I need to mark the block that it's on, or do I need to mark it, or do I need to mark it on a specific side? It can't be any of that though, because the game states that he will fill everything connected to it. Because you're supposed to be smart. You're not supposed to be the thickest cunt ever. Look, just take that and put it in there. It's not that hard. 
Do you know what? I've been trying to work this out for 15 minutes. I kind of forgot I was recording. So, I'm going to leave it here for now, guys. I hope you didn't hate this episode as much as I think you might. Um, I will see you guys next time, and I promise we will not be doing golems again. And if this problem isn't sorted, I'm going to make a whole bunch of golems, and then I'm just going to slaughter them repeatedly. So, I will see you next time. Peace out.